marks a very special day for me. As you can see from the title of this video, today is my 365 day of my streak in Duolingo and my journey learning Swedish. And yes, it might sound a little bit silly to say out loud and to be so excited and to celebrate this much about something, but it really means a lot to me because it it means that if I put my mind onto something, I will make it a habit and persevere until I achieve it. And yeah, I think this streak symbolizes that for me. It's, it's a small step towards my dream. I am aware that Duolingo may not be the best app to learn a language, but it's a fun way to introduce the language and to introduce this habit that it's so important when you're trying to learn a new language and when you're trying to get familiarized with it. You, you need to incorporate a habit in your life and you need to do it at least a, a few minutes every day. That's the most important part of, part of it. Why Swedish, you may be asking? Well, um, if you're a bit familiar with my channel, you may have noticed that a while back I uploaded a video titled Beginning of a Dream and that was my first time ever visiting Sweden after wanting to do so for as long as I can remember and yeah, I think that uh, gives it away pretty much. I really want to move to Sweden and I know I need to learn the language on a really good level uh, before doing so. I honestly cannot recall when my longing for a home that i never been in uh, really started, but what I do know is that I really want to learn this language and make my dream come true. And Duolingo has been a great way to do so, a great way to incorporate this habit and to start learning this language. And after a year of doing it, I can confidently say that I understand quite a lot. I can pick up words from songs. I can understand some TikTok lives of people speaking in Swedish. I can understand some memes. Um, what I do struggle with is um, making, making up my own sentences and uh, well, the pronunciation, that's of course uh, what I will struggle with the most, I think. But I know I want to make this and I know I want to achieve this, so I will try my best. And if you have any tips for the language or any other apps that you might know of or yeah, just anything, please share it in the comments. I will really appreciate it and we can also chat and um, yeah, exchange our knowledge and things that we have learned along the way. And yeah, I'm just so happy to be finally sharing a little bit of my goals and dreams with you all. Um, I know right now there's a lot of people um, aiming to, to move to Sweden eventually and I know there is a really big community of people that want to achieve this, so I, I really welcome all of you and I hope you welcome me as well and we can all together share our knowledge and share our findings and yeah, make our dreams come true. I just wanted to encourage everyone out there to um, start, to at least start, if you have this goal in your mind and if, you, if there's something you want to achieve, just start. Even if it doesn't feel like you're doing much, after quite a while of doing Duolingo every day, I can confidently say I understand a lot of the language that I'm learning and that really shows that it does work. It may not be the best way, but it does work and it's something. It's better than doing nothing. If you're learning Swedish uh, for any other reason or you also share this dream of maybe one day moving to Sweden, um, please, I really encourage you to make some comments and share some tips with me and with others so we can um, learn together and yeah, I don't really feel confident to speak Swedish in this video, but uh, I know in the future I, I, I might do so. Right now I don't feel that confident and I, I'm sure you can understand. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video might have um, helped you in some way or another 
and I really encourage you to just start. Well, thank you all for being here and for joining my um, Swedish learning journey and this dream of mine and I'll see you in my next video.